Thank you. Good morning, Ibuan and Wanakam. So, so it's great to be here and a great pleasure. And this wonderful morning to be with the, the, the different segment of people to be here to share the knowledge of how we uh, build our digital journey over the next uh, era. Uh, what happened is like last Sunday, I uh, took my son to the basketball along with his friend. And he suddenly told me like, you know, Sunday like we have the usual traffic in city. And suddenly he told me, uh, Daddy, why don't you go very fast? I said, I'm sorry. This is how the normal juice will speed. Uh, I got a little bit annoyed and said, why don't you, you come and drive? He's uh, nine years old. Then he said, I don't need to drive in future because car will drive for me in future. So this is the era we are now. So, so we are going to target our, the Yana Shakti and our products and services to that segment going forward. So this is the journey we, we took it like uh, to go to the Mount Everest. And we're very happy to partner with uh, Johan and Jayanti, um, being the partner for us uh, to take the Yana Shakti to the top level. And we make sure that we also climb on that journey to, to be the number one in, in Sri Lanka and to expand our business uh, elsewhere. Uh, so we had a very, next, okay. We have very, very strong uh, brand of Jana Shakti. It's a household name um, across Sri Lanka. And we have very, that's supported by the, uh, the brand identity of the lamping is very powerful. And today, uh, the company is valued like 36 billion rupees asset value. So it is consists of uh, the Jana Shakti, the Orient Finance, uh, First Capital, Dunamis, and Healthy Homes. So you want to know this journey started when our founder, Mr. Chandra Shafter, at the age of 62. He started at the age of 62, and today we are a 24 years old company with 36 billion rupees. So very focused and very customer focused and customer engaged. This is how we grow our business. So this is the, one of the challenge uh, they brought. Um, I'm, I'm a typically a banking uh, seasoned person. Uh, there was a, a need at Jana Shakti how we are going to transform uh, the traditional way of doing the insurance to the, the digitalized. So it's a big challenge for me because uh, when I, uh, before I moved into the Jana Shakti, I did a due diligence. Uh, then, then I come across, they have a very legacy systems over there for almost uh, 12 years, but very strong, running on Oracle and WebLogic, very strong. But business agility and going forward is big challenge. So when I uh, met the, uh, um, the IT uh, staff over there, I asked, uh, where is this account module? Where is this uh, payable module? If I ask everything, they will ask, it is built in like the core insurance systems, like the, they have the fast forward systems. If I ask anything, they say fins, 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 fins. I said, what is outside fins? No, and nothing is outside, everything is fins. It is like, for me, it's like a Chinese soup. So when I'm coming from outside, when I look that entire thing, it's more like a Chinese soup. So how I'm going to take the potato out, green peas out, the tomatoes out, it's a big task because business is demanding every day. So there's a big friction between the business and IT because the financial sector is like that always. I have my good friend uh, who was with us, uh, uh, Danushka, with us at HNB. So, uh, so we had a very cordial relationship. But before that, the business and IT is like a North Pole and South Pole. So we had to bring this, the friction from the Chinese wall to the without the Chinese wall. So this is the biggest task for us to how we are going to, to, to catering the business from Chinese soup to the clean soup so that we have the agility to move forward, to take it to the, uh, to the next level, what the business wants, what the customer wants, and 
more or less what the stakeholders want from outside. If you take uh, the Gardner, uh, uh, the research, the, the first is the digital banking, the innovation side. The 11th position is on the insurance side. So we can do a lot of things in the insurance. So those are IT guys over here. There's a lot of opportunities for you to do the innovations in insurance to make it to the number two. Because always the banking and the finance will be number one. The next is a very financially dependable is insurance. So it is a good opportunity to think. And so what we took the strategy is over things like we did a five year strategy plan with the stacks. And out of the six objective, two objectives is like lifestyle based insurance. So that is the one thing we adapted. So for us, it's like a consistency in our architectural approach to support the business and to the demand, the customer need outside, and how we are going to uh, do the partnership business going forward. Anything you can't do individually these days. You can't survive, even banking can't survive, even insurance can't survive. Anybody need a partnership. So that is a success of any industry if you see on this. So we had a kind of a, a lot of uh, business conditions, as you see, the, like like an iceberg. Um, we see only the the twenty percent, but eighty percent of the things is dependence on the scalability for our business going forward. So how we and supplies relationships and improving the time to market. Uh, when I joined uh, the Yanasakti, the business heads and everything, I want this product and I want this service within one month, two months. I was wondering how to take the, the green peas out from the tomatoes out, how to mix it and to give a nice soup for him to taste, adding some more spices. So it's a nightmare for me. And uh, board told me, Kugan, you have enough of money to go for a system. Why don't you go for a new co-insurance and to look for outside. Being in the coming from the banking industry, like changing the core, it is not a nightmare, it's like a married. Like, how many of you are married over here? Just. Have you come across like others not married? Are you scared like if you're married means your market share will come down? No. Fine, good. Uh, <clears throat> the reason is uh, those who are married is like, only one agreement I come across in my life is doesn't have any expiry date. Am I right or wrong? Doesn't have expiry date. Any other uh, agreement or services have it. So this is a kind of a things like how we are going to choose a good partner. We failed many times in my life. Changing, choosing the right partner. The right partner. I, I won't call vendor anymore. I call them partner. Who is going to help us? But we failed many times by choosing the right partner for us who is going to grow with us. So uh, we are very careful uh, choosing the partner. We do a lot of uh, analysis, got a lot of due diligence, a lot of uh, customer um, feedback from the rest of the Then we choose the right partner going forward. So board said, you have the freedom. Thanks to the board, uh, they have gave me the entire freedom to choose the partner, to have the independence uh, um, avenue. Like Sanjeev just uh, said yesterday, we never call for RFE. The, the day that you are calling for RFE, you are bounded by the restrictions. You are not allowing any innovation. So we want the people to come and tell us what you have and how you are going to grow our business to the next level. So we had a very open mindness. Our business has openness because why? They went through the pain. So they like anything is okay. Any spicy soup, anything is okay. They are ready to accept. That is the kind of thirsty they had, the business people, they had a thirsty. So we had a good weather condition for us to, um, to implement a change across the industry. So we took uh, a couple of guys to some of the things, how they are doing the uh, insurance. And before that, my previous bank, um, because we, are, we watch most of the time Indian uh, channels over here. I think you're from India, sir? Yeah. Fine. So we watch a lot of uh, Indian movies, Hindi fans over here. Um, so every time I, in between the, uh, the, the break advertisements, 
Axis Bank coming up with a nice uh, mobile, a uh, lot of uh, credit card offers, a lot of technology-based one. So I asked my MD, who was uh, Mr. Thiaraja, and he said, why, why don't you, you both of us come? We'll, both of us will visit. I know the, the CIO and the CEO. Why don't we visit Axis Bank? Then we had another uh, case studies from the K Bank from Indonesia, which was a seventh position. They came uh, the top number three within three years' time. So this was the two case studies for us. So they are like our big brothers. So we visited uh, first Axis Bank, and we had a chat with the CEO and CIO. They told us entire history and openness, how they grow their business with a service-oriented architecture. So it's like a good eye-opener for us. It's, it's way back in 2000. And we did a case study from the K-Bank, who become the number one a digital bank in Indonesia right now. So that was a, a good eye-opener for us to understand how we are going to grow our business and how we are going to bring this, uh, the service-oriented architecture on this. So we took the two partners. We selected for business process automation, the new gen. And for a front-end, uh, we took uh, uh, the iNoop for a front-end. You can see the, how we are moving. So, some of the things are already we have uh, done, and we are just to implement certain things. So what we did is we brought the, uh, the WSO to middleware, and APM managed to overcome this core insurance, and we brought the uh, business process automations on top of that layer. So we brought the entire heaviness from the core insurance. We built the entire uh, product configuration, everything we brought on this layer. And top of that layer, we brought the entire the customer touch points. This is how we brought the change. We didn't do any magic. We just did a heaviness from the core. We brought to the top layer and to the next layer. So this is how. So we had a very good cordial discussion with uh, the WSO2, uh, thanks to Shavin, Nadisa, and Dimutu. I nagged them like nothing, because I told them to come and do a, a presentation. And I took them to the WSO2. And we did about a couple of workshops, and along with our partners. So, and luckily, the chosen partners, the new gen and INUP, they were already working with WSO2 layer. So they know the entire architecture. So it's brought very uh, uh, understanding uh, event for us. Having a one wife is difficult. Having a two wives, just imagine. OK, having a, we are going to implement two at the same time. What? The business process automation and customer touch points. This is the biggest risk. The board told me Kugan is going to be the biggest risk. I said, I can manage two wives in my life. If I can manage one wife, managing another wife is not a, not a problem for me. I took the risk. So then we successfully, we took within one year, within one year, we did that. We started last July, and on July 6th, we launched the systems, both at the similar level. Uh, so that was the very success story for us. So thanks to WSO2 and the team who did uh, very good architecture for us, and they did the entire things for us to, to moving forward. And top of that, uh, we had uh, things from our uh, um, internal stakeholders, our staffs. They said, sometimes I spend two hours for traveling um, for up and down. I'm wasting about four hours. Why don't you give us a solution? So we are working on this identity management with WSO2 going. Um, we are working on that. They can work from home. So we are signing up with the call center uh, from the Avaya, things like uh, so that they can work from home to managing the call center operations. Because call center operations is very crucial for the insurance industry. So we are moving ahead with that. So on um, top of that, we are moving with the, uh, because we are not touching the core insurance, because that is a very critical. Um, uh, it's like when you are building the house, like the bathroom and the kitchens are the very important points. Am I right or wrong? Every time there's a problem, where it'll come? Either bathroom or kitchen. So we are very careful that without touching the core, we want to work around the core so that we are bringing the, the, the heaviness out of that. So what we did is like we built our, our, uh, a beautiful data warehouse. Uh, with the WTA API manager, so that uh, this is our uh, the data warehouse, how we did the plan over there. 
And we did, uh, we launched our touch points called Agent Virtual Office. And so it is a qualitative benefits and quantitative benefits uh, we built on that. So we want to become a kind of a sales oriented culture. From top, from the chairman to the sales agents, we want to be a sales oriented culture. So we went with, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we are the first insurance company in Sri Lanka to come up with that kind of a high level um, um, agent virtual office. They can do anything from that. Virtually they can do anything. They don't need to come to uh, office at all. And um, we are building a kind of a customer app but portal, but we are doing a lot of research. Because these days, app and the portal, the customer app and sh the portal should have some meaning to the customers. So we are moving from vision and missionary organization to purposeful organization. So we took the very decision making on that. We are doing a lot of research on how we are going to change our customer app and the portal to lifestyle based. There are a lot of pain points. We have a lot of pain points in our life. We are going beyond insurance. So for example, how to manage uh, my pet. Uh, for example, like vaccinate and how to maintain my car, like uh, for a servicing here and there. Everything we are bringing kind of a managing the, the peripherals of the pain points, what are the customers we are bringing and we are build, building on that. So that is how we are bringing the life insurance and the health insurance on that. Thanks to uh, our, the government, the previous government, uh, they built a lot of, uh, okay, fine. So what happened is like, um, all of us are very uh, conscious about their health. All of us are, so what we are doing is we are building a kind of a wellness program around us. So what we did is the first thing is what we did is we, we sign up with ibo.lk. Have you heard about ibo.lk in Sri Lanka? That is an upcoming uh, uh, um, uh, kind of a app and the portal. So where they are carefully uh, um, about their health and how much you exercise, you are done, how much of calorie you took inside, daily morning and evening, it will tell you how much you had to do the burning. Okay, so if you take morning uh, the bread and butter, so you took about 50 calories and tea about another 10 calories and lunch, another 50 calories, so you have accumulated about 300. To burn 300, how many kilometers you had to do? So that is the, the wellness program uh, we have introduced. Uh, so that is how we have engaged with the ex external partners. So what you see over here, uh, it is the, the, our latest development where we launched the agent virtual office. Uh, you see like the my goal, uh, very sexy, uh, but as uh, he said yesterday, the, the look and feel should be very much important, okay? I think that is how the packaging is important, okay? If those who are unmarried, it's very important for your madam, okay? Because the packaging is very important, how one look and feel to attract the opposite sex going forward, okay? So we want to attract our agents to be with us. Customer stickiness is very important, so we, uh, this is for our internal uh, stakeholders, our agents, we build a kind of a, a very attractive and very um, proactive uh, approach for them to grow the business. So very uh, graphical oriented things, they can understand how to set my goal. For example, uh, most of the agents, uh, I want to build a home in three years time. So we help them systemically how to achieve that goal in three years time. How much you have to do business? How much of business you had to do to achieve your goal. Then down the time, if you want to buy a motorbike or car, how much you had to, uh, to move forward your business to this level to next level. And it will give you like how to go, like the competitions, uh, the my actions, the tracker, everything is built in. And furthermore, what we have done is we have engaged with the social media on the top of that. Before I engage with you, I, I know who you are and what is your interest, so that there's a customer engagement. So that is how we are doing the social media harvesting as well. So they have the entire things over there. If they got stuck during the process, they can have a chat on us with the, the main uh, office. So this is the one we launched uh, about on the July 6th. Uh, 
and it gave us the big so this is the team uh, who did the entire things uh, we want it won't take any credit we gave the entire credit to the team who did work very hard to make this successful so that is how the success of this jana shakti today because we bring the success along the people so through this i'm sure we will be creating a, a lot of uh, differentiated experience to our customers and the further like we want to take the complexity out of the business and the sales because we want to give the ease of use the convenience to our agents then we are doing a lot of research we are working with the two uh, universities uh, that is kalamu universities and university of moratua working with a, a lot of interns people to how the people we are doing a kind of a focus group uh, what the customers need from outside from insurance company and beyond insurance what are the pain points so we are having a customer so they do like lot of feedback for us so we are building uh, on that uh, uh, that that sales complexity to going forward and uh, as we said ex exactly that like the customer social profile is very very important to the insurance companies to understand the customers to give the right service and right product to the end customers and through these solutions they can take a better smarter decisions and as i said earlier like we are going beyond insurance that is our next team uh we don't want to build within that and we care about their lives as well as the entire family a to z so this is the we tie up with the ibo.life so if you download that uh, the app uh, you can call for a medical screening doctor calls lab reports medical library the wellness activations everything is there so just download this app ibo.lk and you see the wonderful uh, about your wellness program and top of that uh, on the july we launch uh, in sri lanka we have the the famous uh, towards the after candy called dartni vancouver uh, it's like a, a 40 miles race about uh, you won't believe uh, there are about um, 2800 people participated virtually so the first who won the first one he went to bali so he is flying uh, day after tomorrow to bali who won the the 40 miles virtually who participated and who won this so this is how we brought the the mass engagement virtually to the people over there and so this is our uh, the jana shakti uh, 2020 journey and against the sustainability versus integrated so what we are doing is we are moving from functionality point of view to the value and we are bringing the intangible things and experience so we want to be in this space of uh, the the eco green uh, insurance so that is why the eco green is because that is my research i am doing so we, we want to become like the green insurance uh, going forward with our, our our customers so what we are doing is we are moving from uh, from the sustainability versus the value proposition we make sure everything having his own face of achieving the things so i'm sure uh everything we do one day it will touch someone something somewhere so this is a theme of the the digitalizations so thank you and if you have any questions or answers or i'm most welcome or outside this time permits thank you <coughs>